Right now, investigators working to solve the shooting death of a 10-year-old boy in Belleville. Someone shot and killed that boy last night outside of his own home. Now at 6, Paula Bassan joining us live now. Uh, Paula, what do we know about that little boy? Well, we've been here where the shooting happened for hours, talking with family, talking with neighbors, and we spoke with the boy's mother right outside that house. And all she said was she hopes that the person who did this to her son is caught. Neighbors tell us these bullet holes are reminders of a life taken too soon. They tell us a 10 year old boy was standing outside his home in Belleville, Illinois, when he was shot to death Monday night. I'm sad. I'm, I'm upset. Cameron Clark lives down the street and his parents agreed to let us talk with him. He was a friend of the boy who died. They both went to Henry Robb Elementary School together. He showed us their yearbook. Last night, Cameron learned he'd never ride the school bus with his friend again. There was something on Facebook and my mom told me and I, was just, I just got really sad. <laughs> and yesterday I saw like all the ambulances and police cars over there. Cameron tells us he does not understand why anyone would shoot his friend. A boy who loved making people laugh, video games, and watching basketball with his brother and sister. Now he's scared for his own life. I just get scared to like leave my yard and stuff because I don't know if it could happen to me. His father tells us he moved with his family to the neighborhood nine years ago. It's kind of a shocker because there's not a lot that goes on around here. Uh, a lot of kids always playing, really no drama or hardly anything like that. Now, with the death of a child to gun violence, he wants more for his community. Maybe a little more police patrols. And for his 11-year-old son. It's hard losing a friend.